I remember one time he went on, somebody fucking killed, and he went on, and the first thing he said, hold on, relax, it ain't gonna be that funny. <laughs> all right, 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 like, right. They told him, yeah, it's yeah, not gonna yeah, be yes, that calm funny. down, exactly. Like, yeah. I'm working on some shit, yeah. because, but that's how you develop a, a monster yes, hour. You yes. have to start off with building a structure, yeah, and man. get a foundation. And, yeah, you fucking, even your first night of the tour, by the last night, you go, now that's my act now. You, you, the friends who saw you the first two nights, you're like, fuck, I wish you would have seen me fucking. Right. A couple of weeks later, I had I figured out that bit. Yeah, you don't want anybody to see you when you're doing a workout set. Like, get the fuck out oh, of here. Oh, man, man. This is a workout set. Like, uh, this could be terrible. This could absolutely. end badly. Especially I, when a buddy sees you eat yeah. it like that. What a feeling. Yeah. There's no dismount here. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, it's interesting how those guys, like, like a guy like Rock or Kinnison or Louie or anybody who's just like really killing it. Yeah. It elevates everybody around you. Yeah, and man. Everybody, everybody gets a little better because of that. Because I you get fucking inspired. Agree. I, 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 I think Rock was on stage and just killed one time. And I remember John Stewart, who was probably 24 at the time. I, I think I was like 18 or, or 20 or whatever our age difference is. John Stewart goes, oh, I, I don't want. I quit. I don't <laughs> like. He's just like, God damn, that's good, man. Well, you know, that's what Eric Clapton said when he saw Jimi Hendrix. Yeah, yeah. he saw Jimi Hendrix. He's like, What am I doing? <laughs> what the fuck am I doing? You Why feel like a phony after you see that yeah. great shit. Yeah. Well, especially a guy like Hendrix that comes along and he's doing something completely different than oh, everybody yeah, else. Man, everybody else is playing guitar. They're all great. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, this guy comes on. Oh my goodness. I know. Uh, oh, that was a nasty one. Yeah. When I work with uh, Phil Hartman, he told me a story. When he was 18 years old, he worked at the Whiskey. Uh -huh. And um, he his his job was, they, they had those stage monitors. And the, the, sometimes the stage monitors, the, the, the artists would accidentally kick them and they would go into the crowd. So his job was this, because they were, is a, the, you ever been to the Whiskey? Yeah, sure. Hartman? Small yeah. stage, yeah. right? Not yeah. that big. Yeah. And so when he would he'd have to stand there like to be prepared to like catch the speaker uh-huh uh and hendrix yeah was right there like where you are yeah, to me yeah, yeah. hendrix was uh -huh. and he was 18 years old uh, and he's like dude it was insane that, that's so funny he goes, man. i was because phil could play a little guitar too but he was watching he's like i'm watching literally the greatest guitarist of yes, all time yes. 